Wouldn't you like to have a life where all the things are working together for good for you? Then you're gonna have to have the working of miracles in everyday life. Now last week, we had an interesting message. I don't know if you remember it or not. We had a youth renewal for your brain. Have you ever heard that before? I've never heard it before. I rarely hear people talk about youth renewal and we know it is a promise of God, right? It is something God does. It's something that profoundly affects me to this day that it is something that God did for our father and mother of the faith. It is what he did. It's literally what he did for them, right? Yes. And so it should be something he does for us on a regular basis. And guess what? Your brain is part of your body. Guess where that message is? It's online. It's going forth. And people are going to hear it and they're going to understand. And their brain is going to get renewed along with the rest of their body. Now, a lot of people would, would despise that message for whatever reason. Why? I don't know. But it doesn't matter. The people that despise it, they don't have to have it. Right. The people that appreciate it and like it will be blessed by it. And I've had people say that about many of the blessings, and they thank me for saying things that other people are not saying. I'm preaching to the people that have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying through me to them. But my point here is that I've got another message today. Where do I keep getting, where do you suppose I get these messages from? I get them from the Holy Ghost and praying in tongues a lot. Now, Paul said he prayed in tongues more than all of them put together. You know, I'm not there yet, but I'm telling you, that's where these messages come from. I don't make them up, but I'm getting them, and they're going to go online, and people are going to be blessed by it because they could not hear it in their own church or from somebody else. I hope you're ready for this. I hope you, you got a few minutes because I really would like to get this across. It's going to help people. Say, it's going to help people. People need to hear this message. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and let's pray holy ghost i worship you i ask that we are able to speak clearly what you are saying to people in their ears right now that they may receive your word that they may be changed and they may please you in this day in this hour in jesus name amen, amen. and i'm going to tell you i don't always do this but this is the title of this message sometimes i'll get titles sometimes i don't the everyday working of miracles Say the everyday, the everyday. Working, of miracles. working of miracles. Now, working of miracles, let's just look at this quickly. We'll define this by the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and let's look at verse 10. To another, the working of miracles. Say the working, the working. Of, miracles. of miracles. Now, this is a two part gift. The other one were the healings, the word of wisdom, right? This one has working and miracles and now all the whole time when you go and we'll look at quite a few of these this evening the working of miracles has something to do with a natural component and a spiritual component the working is something they did in the natural and then the spirit supernatural part let's say the working of miracles where jesus said you know take your boat out and throw it on the other side they had to work by going out to the and throwing the net on the other side and then the miracle took place see they had the working part and the miracle part. They had the natural part and they had the supernatural part, working of miracles. Mm -hmm. So working of miracles. Here we have it. Classic the definition. Working, the Greek word is energema. It's where we get the word energy from. When you apply energy to something, when you mop the floor, what does that take? Energy. It takes some energy. And, and we're going to get into the definition a little bit more, but it's really, it's natural energy you got to do, right? Or if it snows, God forbid, you go out and you have to put some energy into getting it off the driveway or the sidewalk or something. Energema, that's the Greek word. An effect, an operation, working to be active and to do something. So you're, you're doing something, working. Then miracles. Dunamis, it's where we get the word dynamite from. Dynamic power. So we've got the natural part the natural component then we've got the supernatural component when they come together you've got working of miracles and we'll see this over and over again are you here and we're talking about the everyday say everyday everyday, everyday working of miracles so dunamis that's the greek word it, it always had carries the 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 element of the supernatural or the miraculous so it's force or power miraculous power ability supernatural ability 
you understand there's always the supernatural element strength supernatural strength are you getting this yes now more often than not in general when we're talking about the working part it has to do with speaking more often than not the natural part was someone speaking i would think you'd want the everyday working of miracles every day every day in your life every day your natural situation being affected by supernatural things that's the everyday working of miracles i'll define it a little even better a little bit later but let's look at james chapter 5 and then verse 16 the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much that's what the king james says now listen to what the amplified version says the earnest heartfelt continued prayer does that sound like work yeah. yeah the earnest heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man that would be the natural part of the working mm -hmm. right prayer that's saying say prayer is saying, prayer is saying. right of a righteous man makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working that's the miraculous part mm -hmm. you see so we had the natural part that was prayer or speaking and then we had the supernatural part was power coming after the speaking and we'll see that over and over again the power comes after the speaking the everyday working of miracles is speaking and having the power become available and do things for you are you getting this yes. and that's just read right on here and he'll, he'll even describe it himself verse 17 Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are what does that mean he was in the natural he was a man in the natural with issues and problems like passions didn't he you can read some of them mm -hmm. there was this time he needed that he needed a place to stay he needed some food he needed some all these things right yeah. just like as we are and he prayed earnestly was it supernatural no it just said he was a man like we are and he did something in the natural he prayed earnestly or he said things and we can go back and read the story you're not going to but he said it's gonna rain or it's not gonna rain he said things like that he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months what was that that was a miracle mm -hmm. it was a working of miracles he didn't wave a wand he didn't stomp a foot he spoke and he said he prayed it specifically says and it rained not so you had the Elijah being a man and praying the natural component and then you have it raining not and then re-raining I guess you could say that that's the supernatural component the working of miracles Romans chapter 8 I'm gonna give you and present to you another definition for our specific purpose here which is everyday working of miracles Romans chapter 8 and then verse 28 and we know that all things work say work. work all things work together for good for our purposes that's how i'm going to define working of miracles wouldn't you like to have a life where all the things are working together for good for you then you're going to have to have the working of miracles in everyday life that's what we're defining here are you getting this that means all things all the things in the natural the job you know the red lights the green light all else say all things all things working together for good for you is that a promise yes and we're gonna see how we get there the promise is the working of miracles in all things your everyday life all things working together working together for good is the supernatural we will come back to this verse in a little bit in mark chapter 11 now here we have where Jesus did what he passed by a fig tree let's go to verse 20 mark chapter 11 verse 20 and in the morning as they passed by they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots and Peter calling to remembrance saith unto him master behold the fig tree which thou mm -hmm. dug up with a shovel is pat is with it what did he do he spoke to it That's right. how did this miracle take place Jesus spoke and so the working of this is a working of miracles you understand mm -hmm. it wasn't a healing 
wasn't any of those other gifts of the spirit it was a working of miracles and he said to the fig tree dry up and it dried up by the next day it was a working of miracles did it happen in Jesus's daily life yeah and Jesus answering said unto them verse 22 have the God kind of faith for verily I say unto you whosoever shall say doubt not uh, say to the mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith so what was the natural component here saying the speaking and the saying was the natural component and then the supernatural was it coming to pass are you getting this uh, mark chapter 4 here we have the where they're crossing over Jesus said let us cross over to the other side verse 35 mark chapter 4 verse 35 and it came to pass when the evening was come and he saith unto them let us pass over to the other side verse 36 when they sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also with him other little ships and there were a great storm of wind and the and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they wake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish what did they say they said we're dying <laughs> you know and you don't care that doesn't sound like faith right but he arose and rebuked the wind he spoke and said unto the sea peace be still was this a working of miracles yeah. it could be defined by someone saying something and having a miracle take place you understand so the working part say the working part, the working was, part. Saying. was saying so when you're saying your work say when I'm saying, when I'm, saying. I'm, working. I'm working and then I believe that it comes to pass you see that's the miracle part that takes place are you getting this yeah. and you're just like Jesus this was part of his daily life he had to go across on the boat right mm -hmm. and then Lazarus here we have Lazarus remember Lazarus died I won't take you there John 11 uh, 43 you can read it later if you want and Lazarus was dead in the tomb for many days right and what did Jesus do now was Lazarus being raised from the dead a miracle yes. what did Jesus do did Jesus go roll the stone away and massage him and you know use one of those heart things no he spoke Jesus said Lazarus come forth what was Jesus work he spoke say speaking, speaking is, the is the work of miracles, of miracles. If you're gonna do it God's way I hope you're getting this I'm just showing you those are a few examples I can go to many many other examples or just three that I came up with real quick to show you that the speaking is the working part the speaking has to happen in the natural and then the supernatural joins up with it working of miracles and so when we're talking about everyday working of miracles it's something you're going to be doing every day are you getting this yes. all things working together for good for you mm -hmm. this is exciting so all of those were classified as miracles no one would deny that and all had two things in common can you guess what the two things are words were spoken in the natural and a miraculous event took place which was supernatural say words were spoken, words were spoken. And, supernatural happened. and supernatural happened I hope this is blessing you is blessing me I think people long to live in the supernatural they just don't know how to get there they long to have supernatural things take place in their life but they don't know how to get it to happen well how would we have to start to get it to happen if we can see that all the working of miracles take place when someone speaks we have to learn to say speak and say the right thing first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 but God hath chosen say God hath chosen, God hath chosen. so the preacher chose no. the world chose no. the angels chose the devil chose no God hath chosen he's gonna tell us what God chose he has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen 
yea and things which are not to bring to naught things that are so God chose these things and we've already talked about the preaching but we're talking about words in specific he chose the vehicle of speaking words to bring to naught situations that are or to bring into the world things that you want it's God's method it's what he chose that's why the working of miracles go oh God's working a miracle well how does he do it by the foolishness of speaking mm -hmm. say God does it, God does it. By, the by the foolishness of speaking. of speaking and he told me this last night as I was trying to go to bed so I had to get up and uh, go across the room in the dark and find my pen and write it on the back of something he said he must have words to work with God can do no miracle in the earth listen God can do no miracle in the earth without words to work with he must have them now the words are the natural part you understand to work with is his supernatural part so you must say the word say I must say the words, say the words. for God to do the supernatural, the supernatural in my daily life, my daily life. And when you're consistent with it and especially when you're saying his words you are walking in the working of miracles and he said he went on he said don't think that your confession isn't doing anything you ever thought that <laughs> don't think that your confession isn't doing anything it is the net it is the material of which everyday miracles are made don't think that your confession isn't doing anything it is the material of which everyday miracles are made God chose this method you didn't he did are you getting this because we often think that oh it's not doing it no it is doing something you could have thought that when Jesus spoke to the fig tree we understand is Jesus has happened the next day but it's still the same principle you understand mm -hmm. you say the confession and you believe that the words you said come to pass and you have whatever you say that is the definition of the working of miracles and if you say your confessions every day pretty soon pretty soon pretty soon every day you have the working of miracles working for you God chose this method I must have words to work with he says Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power say power, power. now would power be included in the working of miracles yes well, that's what we want that's what the working of miracles is is the application of God's power in your life and frankly in our everyday life that's where we want it mm -hmm. say I want, I want. the application yeah of God's power, God's power in my, in my everyday, everyday life. life well here it says but you shall receive power after to say that yeah. after that the Holy Ghost is come on you well okay the power comes on you after the Holy Ghost comes on you is that what your Bible says yeah. so it comes on you after power after Holy Ghost isn't power Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost he's God and then afterwards he comes on you then the power so let's see what happened after uh, Acts chapter 2 let's look at verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them and verse 4 Are you here yeah verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost now it said in verse chapter 1 verse 8 that the power comes after the Holy Ghost comes on them right afterwards so here it says and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost or he came on them and began to speak what was after the Holy Ghost came on them the speaking they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak what they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance then they began walking in the power of God the power of God began to manifest 
for them in their everyday life because they were speaking and the power came say when I speak, when I speak the power comes, the power comes. It's, scriptural. it's scriptural when I speak in tongues what happens according to the scriptures well I don't feel like it so what you, you don't always feel everything do you when I speak in tongues the power comes into my life what are you speaking I'm speaking what he wants said I'm speaking his words as he gives me utterance and power becomes available and it comes available and comes into my natural life are you here mm -hmm. talking about the everyday working of miracles well how do you work miracles number one is by speaking speaking God's Word nothing could be better of speaking God's Word than speaking in other tongues because you're speaking as he gives you the utterance he's giving you the words to say mm -hmm. so the power of working of miracles comes after the saying we've seen it over and over again the power of working of miracles for you in your life comes after your saying or your speaking especially in other tongues mm -hmm. he may quicken you to say something specifically that's good but just in a, you can you don't even have to do you just keep speaking in other tongues and you know the power comes after James 3 5 we don't turn over there James 3 5 says so is the tongue among our members remember it's a small thing and it it's among our members and it boasts or works great things it boasts that's the working part the great things the supernatural part are you getting this so is the tongue among our members that's how you're working miracles is this is this getting across mm -hmm. Philippians chapter 1 verse 19 for I know that this shall turn to my salvation now he's talking about a specific situation mm -hmm. are you here yes. and it needs to turn mm -hmm. now I can share what it is but it doesn't really matter that's not really the point the point is there are situations say there are situations, there are situations. that need to turn, need to turn. do you understand and, to, and to turn to my salvation the word soteria there that simply means your deliverance a situation that shall turn to your deliverance shall turn to your prosperity shall turn to work out for your benefit remember what we were talking about before all things working to, it shall turn it shall work together for my good I can put that there talking about the same thing every day working in miracles for I know that this shall turn to my salvation deliverance prosperity healing whatever you need through your prayer. prayer which is what words. your words you're saying you're calling you're asking your petition mm -hmm. your words it shall turn to your salvation through your words and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ the supply could simply mean full complete and provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ so here again we have the two components we have the natural part of your words calling and the supply of the spirit the working of the miracle and he said he knows that it shall turn are you getting this so the prayer is the natural saying part the supply of the spirit is that natural that's suit that's the supernatural part go to Galatians chapter 3 Galatians chapter 3 verse 5 he therefore that ministers to you the spirit and works miracles among you are you here mm -hmm. guess what we're talking about we're talking about working of miracles among people or among them in their in their daily life you understand this mm -hmm. most of that's when you need the miracle he therefore that ministers to you the Spirit now remember we had before we had the supply of the Spirit so we have someone ministering the supply of the Spirit and working the miracle how do you think the miracle if it follows all the other scriptures how is that miracle gonna be worked by speaking there's a supply of the Spirit and they're speaking he said you'd be delivered by the speaking and the supply of the Spirit are you getting this mm -hmm. he therefore that ministers to you the Spirit and works miracles among you doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith say the hearing of faith now I got news for you every time there's hearing there must be uh, speaking it could have said by the speaking of faith mm -hmm. but it wouldn't work because they had to hear it you understand 
so faith comes by hearing so he was speaking faith with the supply of the Spirit and the working of miracles took place in their regular everyday life you supply the voice say I supply the voice, I supply the voice. you supply the voice that's the working part that's the natural part you don't do the supernatural part he supplies the Spirit said right there through the supply of the Spirit you shall be delivered by the prayer or your voice and the supply of the Spirit that's the working of miracles every day every day every are you gonna have the supply every day if you don't use your voice every day no you wonder why I keep saying you gotta you gotta pray in tongues every day why because that you're supplying your voice you're providing your voice he must have words to work with and then he supplies the spirit because the power comes after the saying are you getting this yeah. see faith comes by hearing this should be blessing you and I think it is now if you've come this far in this message especially you at home if you come this far you're going to be rewarded right now this has come to me through literally years say years years, years of meditating and saying these verses of scriptures and years of doing them praying in the spirit are you all right with this yeah. and many of the things that I'm gonna share with you I had never heard anyone else say it and I hope that it's gonna reveal some of this scripture it has been blind to people for years so Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 likewise the spirit who would be talking about there the Holy Ghost so likewise the Spirit the Holy Ghost also helpeth our infirmities now the infirmities means sicknesses number one weaknesses inability lack could be financial lack right lack um, shortcomings you think about that so the Holy Ghost the Spirit helpeth now the word helpeth means to take hold together with against whatever it is so the spirit is going to take hold together with against your sickness he'll come to you he'll take hold together with against the lack he'll take hold again together with against the weakness are you getting this yes. who does the spirit does this takes hold together with against the shortcomings is this good news mm -hmm. yeah says the spirit likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for say what, what? we don't know what we should pray for always as we ought mm -hmm. as we ought simply means how so we don't know what to pray for or really how to do it but the Holy Ghost is gonna come and take hold together with us mm -hmm. against the problem even though we don't know what or how but the spirit it says in itself here but we know it means himself right mm -hmm. but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings now I've told you that before it really would help if you put a period there because <coughs> it's going to show you something the spirit himself makes intercession for us or with us right mm -hmm. the spirit himself intercedes on our behalf the spirit takes hold together with against the spirit helps the spirit advocates the spirit steps in the gap on our behalf Are you getting the picture here yeah. for us with groanings now put the period there and stop and think for a minute who's groaning is the spirit talking about the spirit groaning here no. he's not groaning who's doing the groaning who's doing the speaking here right. yeah. we're doing the speaking that's our component he takes hold he does this with our groanings mm -hmm. he's not groaning he doesn't why would he have to groan he what is he groaning to himself he knows what he wants there's no need for him to groan and the groaning just means you're saying things you don't know what you're saying we know that that means speaking in tongues any any good Pentecostal would know that's exactly what we're talking about here right. he's not the one speaking in tongues oh we're the ones speaking in tongues he's taking hold interceding on our behalf when we groan when we speak he's doing this mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. he's advocating he's standing in the gap he's doing things when we're groanings 
look at this I'm gonna read it again for we know not what we should pray for how or as we ought but the Spirit makes intercession intercedes on our behalf with groanings that which cannot be uttered it says here it, with groanings which cannot be uttered well, well number one that doesn't make any sense on any level he's not groaning something it can't that means he's not uttering anything that's not what it means it means you're you're now speaking you're groaning you're speaking in other tongues that which you could not articulate that which you could not utter and it isn't directly applying to the what and the how that came before it you're speaking what and how in other tongues that you did not know how to do before is this making sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he's able to intercede he steps in he takes over while you're doing it he does the miraculous part are you getting this yes. he intercedes on our behalf with our groanings you can even put that in there because it, it describes who's doing the groaning that which we could not utter before that which we didn't know how to utter before but now we do because we're doing it in the spirit are you getting this yes. isn't that good isn't that a lot more clear than what it seemed to say there yes glory be to God we do the groaning which means we do the speaking so he does it with our groanings we know that we speak as he gives us utterance and then he's able to do the intercession on our behalf with our groanings now let's read on here verse 27 and so after we did all of that right mm -hmm. and he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit now let me ask you a question could he that searches the hearts be talking about who knows the mind of the spirit if it is that makes no sense on any level once again of course he is the spirit he knows what his mind is he's not the one searching the heart to know what is the mind of the spirit are you telling me that if he searches my heart he'll know what his mind is that makes no sense okay what it will make sense is when we read it well we take it and read it backwards the way so many Greek sentences are structured it will make more sense so let's read on here it says he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit let's read it like this just bear with me now so we just got done saying we're groaning things that we didn't know how to utter before and then it goes because he makes intercession for the saints right mm -hmm. because he's interceding for you the saints mm -hmm. taking hold together with against stepping in the gap with our groanings because he's making intercession for the saints according to the will of God picture what's happening now you're giving groanings you're praying and what are you doing you're 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 now working with the Holy Ghost according to the will of God because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God he that searches his heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit he that searches his heart he that searches or examines his heart or looks down in his heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit are you getting this the person examining his heart is the one that's been praying with the Holy Ghost and because I'm praying with the Holy Ghost in other tongues according to the will of God mm -hmm. when I examine my own heart I know what is the mind of the Spirit how do you get to know the mind of the Spirit by praying as the Spirit gives utterance I'm praying the will of God and as I look into my heart I know I can examine what is the will of the Spirit now there's another verse if you wanted to go and look it up I hold your place there if you would because I want to come back I'm not done with that yet go to 1st Corinthians chapter 2 it'll say the exact same thing is that amazing Paul wrote this to another group of believers he wrote that to the Romans and now he's writing to this to the Corinthians and he's saying the same exact thing first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things freely given to us of God which things also we speak mm -hmm. what are we speaking the things in the spirit which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned but he that is spiritual discerns all things 
yet he's in judged of no man for who is not known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him but we have what the mind of Christ how did we get the mind of Christ according to these verses of Scripture by praying and speaking the words that he taught us to pray and speak are you getting this yes it's the same exact thing said in a little bit different different way back in Romans chapter 8 because he makes intercession for the Saints when we're groaning and speaking with him according to the will of God when we search our heart we know what is the will of God we know what is the mind of the Spirit we have the mind of Christ and after all of that after praying we can know the will of God we have him interceding for us on our behalf when we when we're groaning when we're praying in the spirit we're speaking his words he's stepping in to help us say he's stepping in, he's stepping to, help in. Us. to help us when I speak, when I speak. in other tongues that's what we're talking about he's he's coming in to help us and verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good and what is that that's the definition of the working of miracles all things working together for good why would that be because you're speaking as he gives you utterance I'm speaking the words of the Holy Ghost and the power comes after what's the power coming after it's coming after the words spoken and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and call according to his purpose so we know not only that we know the will of God because we have the mind of Christ when we pray in the Spirit and, and look into our heart and we'll know the will of God and we know the power of all things working together for good that is the power of the working of miracles in your everyday life now it's not gonna happen every day if you don't pray every day say every day, every day. The word, you can't have the miracles without the words you don't have the power without the words do you understand that do you understand that you don't have the power without the words. so when you're praying every day you're praying in the spirit you are literally working miracles in your everyday life say this when I pray, when I pray. In, the spirit, in the spirit every day, every day. I am literally working, working miracles, miracles in, my in my everyday life, life. every day, every day. We're talking about everyday working of miracles the power comes after the saying the power of all things working together for good we know the will of God and we know the power of all say I know, I know. The, power the power of all things, of all things working together working for good for me you know the power of the working of miracles in your everyday life mm -hmm. is this scriptural yeah. yeah is this any good so every day everyday tongues what are, what are everyday tongues those are tongues you speak every day <laughs> right you get up and you start speaking in tongues every day and the power comes why would the well, the power comes after the speaking in tongue why did the power come verse 28 mm -hmm. that you know all thing the power say that the power <laughs> of all things working together for good for me it goes out and it does it works for you the power everyday tongues everyday working of miracles every day all things working together for good for you so just stand on your feet for a second here and we can know the power of all things working together for good for us let's pray in tongues a little bit and then I'm gonna say all things work together for good for me and so well I'm gonna show you what you need to do we'll pray in tongues for a little bit and then you'll repeat all things work together for good for me and we'll pray in tongues a little bit more and then we're gonna say what all things work together for good for me because this is how you have everyday working of miracles are you here yeah. let's pray in tongues a little bit Froche, pasta, kinite, monodon, marafin, codadis, prostois, baish, bong, defagisto, glecage, plavada, sanande, costa, kashid, castos, kastotse, prahakta, hasta, kasta, place, de prost, de frost, gestastes. Now say this all things work together for good for me. Pray in tongues some more. Fote, drobadat, trozim, skodavand, blegog, diaxebeche, koblis. 
Trahab de Habas Ostra Babas. Oh, don't think this is funny at home. Hobla Hokesh Dayang de Hiskos. Miracles are taking place. Bosh de Tobede de Blegis de Ha 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 Ha. Glosa Boda Vingdo Shong Tang Tabong Deng de Hos. Say this all things are working together for good for me. Praying tongues, Fote, Drab Sign, the Teen, Maton. Flanto blin chamlo uke strahab de haste stabisto stabraste krad zong tong jekakamulunski hut poya balafrehabaskastis. And one more time, all things work together for good for me. And thank you, Holy Ghost, for working these things in these people's life, and all things truly are beginning to work together for good for them. And we'll keep this up, and we'll believe you, and we thank you that all things are working together for good for us, and all things are working together for good for you at home. And we, we worship you, Holy Ghost, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost of God.